my god. Hmm. Oh, oh, that's right. I'm supposed to be reviewing Live by... Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Live By Night. So Live By Night is written and directed by Ben Affleck. The film stars Ben Affleck, Zoe Saldana, Chris Cooper, and Ella Fanny. And Live By Night tells the story of this gangster in the Prohibition era that is doing things that he shouldn't be doing, which eventually leads him and his men to go out on a revenge mission. So Live By Night is a film that I was definitely very interested in because it's Ben Affleck as an actor. I really admire Ben Affleck. I really like him. And as a writer and director, the man has just proven to be so skillful when it comes to that. Gone Baby Gone is a very fresh start to his directing filmography. It was a very impressive film. The Town, I'm going to be honest, I think is an alright movie. I know a lot of people really like that film. And don't get me wrong, I do understand why. Just personally, The Town is a film that whenever there's not an action scene happening, I didn't really find myself all that compelled when it comes to the storyline. Argo, however, is fantastic. That is my favorite Ben Affleck film when it comes to his writing and directing. It's one of the best films of 2012. And so with Live By Night, I wanted to see what Ben Affleck could do with this film because obviously it is a gangster film. Ben Affleck writes and directs this film. And after seeing Live By Night, yeah, The Town is no longer his weakest film because Live By Night, wow. This was a real snooze fest. This film should have just been called Live By Boredom because I was so bored watching Live By Night. This film, I couldn't believe, was so boring. Not even the town drove me to this level of boredom. Not even that film. You know, at least the town had a little more going for it. This film didn't have a lot going for it. This is a gangster movie. This is a film that takes place in the Prohibition era where times are tough. There's a lot of shootings. There's a lot of crimes. There's a religion being tested. You have all of those things to make one riveting gangster film. And unfortunately, it's not quite there. Now, obviously, I don't think this is a terrible film. I really don't. And that's because Ben Affleck does do a good job directing this film. This is a very well directed movie and that's thanks to the skillful hands of him. His direction is honestly very well done. The same could go for the performances. I think everyone does a really good job. Ben Affleck, I thought for the most part, he actually was really good in this film. I also thought Zoe Saldana was really good in the film as well. Ella Fanning had a very interesting performance. Chris Cooper was also very interesting. And the rest of the other actors, I actually thought they did a very good job. I was honestly just very impressed with the performances. Some of the script was engaging. There's not a whole lot of that engagement into the script, but sometimes it is an interesting movie. And the action, it's not there a whole lot, but when the action is there, it is very exciting. And there's no shaky cam, which I appreciate. Obviously, Ben Affleck is a talented director, so there's no shaky cam, there's no quick cut. When it comes to the action scenes, those are filmed very well, especially in the third act, the last 15 minutes of the movie, this big shootout, that was hands down the best action sequence in Live By Night. Oh man, this movie is too long. This movie is a little over two hours long and my goodness, it feels longer than that. This film feels like a three hour movie. I thought this film was never gonna end to be honest. Even Ben Affleck, 
like I said, he's really good for the most part, but there were times where he didn't always seem he's into the role. He looked a little bored even in some parts of the movie too. He just seemed a little out of place. I don't know if it's just me, but that's just how I felt sometimes. But the proper execution, it could have been interesting. It could have been something very engaging, but because there isn't that interest factor in Live By Night, it honestly is a real drag. And not to mention, not only is the pacing of this film very, very slow, but the pacing is also all over the place. This film goes from one scene to another scene to another scene because it focuses on so many plot lines. You deal with Ella Fanning's side of the storyline, but then you deal with Chris Cooper's side of the storyline. And then there's Ben Affleck with Zoe Saldana. And then there's Ben Affleck and his partner having to do some business meeting up with people to get some more information. So ironically, even though it is very slow, it is also in a way kind of rushed in terms of how it would transition from one story to another and I thought that just could have been handled better personally and speaking of Zoe Saldana even though I did think she was really good I didn't really find her character that interesting and I didn't even think the chemistry between her and Ben Affleck was quite there I felt more chemistry with Ben Affleck and his partner more than Ben Affleck and Zoe Saldana. The film also does not know when to end because there's a certain point in the movie where I think it's gonna end and then nope, it drags on for another five minutes and I'm just waiting for the movie to end. Live by Night, as far as production design, as far as cinematography, as far as direction, sometimes the script, when it comes to the shootouts, those were really good. Those were definitely the strongest points. The performances as well. But what the film lacks is having you riveted. This should have been a riveting story. And unfortunately, what I got coming out of this film was just a very forgettable, very bland gangster film. And I needed to shoot this review, honestly, as soon as possible. Because once I'm done shooting this review, I'm going to forget about this film. This is Ben Affleck's weakest film when it comes to his writing and directing filmography and I'm gonna give it unfortunately two out of four stars so you guys in the comments down below let me know what you think about live by night this is 20 to tiger dude here and don't forget that I will always have tiger power